And now from the archives, opening night on the 19th of June, 1964. Good evening. I'm Paul Griffiths. Welcome to the first program transmission from RVN Channel 2. That's how the viewers saw it on this day 25 years ago when RVN was officially on air and opened by Minister for National Development, David Fairburn. I now have very much pleasure indeed in declaring this station officially open by signing the business book. Construction had begun 12 months earlier and RVN was the first commercial building in the Wagga suburb of Karingal. Attach the call letter and RVN 2 is complete. With studios up and running, the news was also out there capturing events as they happened. And in the early days, it was almost a case of a one-man band. Ten years down the track, the station had expanded considerably and was gearing up for colour transmission. This visit by Gough Whitlam to open extensions to the Wagga Leagues Club is almost the last of the black and white footage in the archives. I must confess I was immensely flattered as uh, I drove down the main street and saw it decorated from end to end. <laughs> and then we were told by Arthur Dixon that it was still up from Christmas. 1975 saw the transition to colour and RVN's merger with AMV. And from the newsroom of 1976, the story of the Murrumbidgee flood as the water began to rise at the Wagga Caravan Park and the city waited for the river to peak. Today I spoke with Mr George Brown, regional controller of the state emergency services based at Wagga. How serious is the situation? Well, David, the, the situation is... Uh, serious enough, but it's not uh, going to reach anywhere near the proportions it was in 1974 or 75. And as the river rose, roads were cut, some homes and properties were evacuated. And the story of the Murrumbidgee continues today with the floods of 89. But from history to a look at the future as RVN, now part of the Ramcor Prime Television Group, celebrates its 25th year. And a comment from a former studio director and newsreader who joined the company in 1966 and is now station manager, Tony Cook. Above everything else, I believe the viewing area community should take great pride in the fact that it has helped establish and support a station which effectively has grown into the fourth largest commercial television network in the country. Uh, equally, I believe it should be as proud of its sons and daughters, so many of whom started their careers with this station and who have and are still making a significant contribution to the Australian production and advertising industry. Over the period of the next 12 months, we will be effectively relaunching the station in preparation for its role in the new competitive marketplace. As well, it has been decided that the prime television station at Wagga will be the production centre for a new rural affairs-based program called Cross Country. The host is Neil Inall, and uh, it will be shown across practically every regional station in Australia. 25 years down and still going strong.